Welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword, once again, with another Harn's knife. When I say another, I've only reviewed one. That one was this one, the assassin. The knife you want to be caught with when the police do a pocket check. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice knife, a little longer and more slender. All of the Harns knives have, for budget knives, amazing actions. You know, um, the uh, Harns knife, this one in particular, I think is coming in. I'm going to check. Yes, yeah, so this Harns Falcon comes in at 50 bucks on White Mountain Knives. Uh, take your five dollars off with this old sword, or this old sword, with this, with old sword. Gonna blow it with old sword. All one word is your discount code, and you get ten percent off. This particular model has about five or six other cousins with all different blade coatings and handle colors. And um, there's your Harns branding here you can see where they're sort of trying to get you to call it the falcom instead of the falcon something happens in the translation sometimes between the chinese and the english and uh sure that can be applied to many things but i digress um a grayed out blade, which is kind of neat. I liked that on the Assassin. A gray handle, which is more to the blue side, as you can see. It's kind of a blue gray, gray blue. Um, and for a $50 knife, I think outside of uh, blades like Best Tech and so forth, where do you get a fall shut action like that? That's out of the box, too. Crazy. A really neat blade. Call it kind of a drop point, worn cliff, want to be a worn cliff kind of a blade with a swedge on the top. Got what looks like a thumb opening hole, but it's just too close to the handle. And the detent is strong enough so that I can't open it, at least. If you've got a little finger with a fingernail, maybe you can get that open or adjust the detent. Deep carry pocket clip, which I love about Harns. The clip is also recessed or inset. However, the screws are not. They're round-headed screws and not flat-headed. But it took a Civivi a while to get to the flat-headed screws, so we can't really blame Harns. Kind of a neat little uh, comet tail going into the lanyard hole there. Some nice other markings, machinings into the G10. Nice uh, rounded, sculpted, contoured handles. Uh, backspacer, also of G10. Lots of aggressive jimping on that, too. And let's see what we got for jimping here. Also good aggressive jimping in a very useful place. Um, it's a little bit fatter handle and we're going to do some measurements. Uh, since I mentioned that, let's start with the handle. So uh, in inches, wow. Yeah, it's a fat handle, 0 0.70, but doesn't feel like it because of the contouring. Rounded Fits right in the palm. I mean, ergos are great on this thing. Again, remember, you're looking at a $50 knife. Um, while I got the uh, calipers out here, let's look at the blade stock. Three millimeters. Take a look at the overall length. Overall length of... Um, like 8.3 blade 3. Oh, where do we want to 
to bring it to. Like a 3.6. I think they call it a 3.54 or something like that. Uh, cutting edge of 3.5. Uh, lightweight. Let's take a look at that weight. Yeah, 3.815. Nice and light for a knife this size. Superb deep carry pocket clip. In and out of the pocket, no problem. Just the right amount of tension, I'd say. Let's look at it again next to the Assassin, which many of you know or have. The Assassin is longer overall and does have a slightly longer blade definitely a longer handle and more narrow all the way around how about next to the old griptilian I would call it a hair longer than the griptilian not by a lot handles gonna be griptilian length and rat one time bigger knife Blade uh, about the same, though. Pretty close to the same. If I measure it, let's go pivot to pivot. So pivot to pivot, a rat is longer. Rat 1 is longer. But handle to handle, blade looks to be about the same. Interesting. So the Harns Falcon, uh, let's get you a model number, and I'll uh, put the link to White Mountain up on the video. Um, nice thing is there's uh, most of your specs right there, so if you want to screenshot that, there they are. Maybe I won't bother putting them on the screen. There are your specs for the Falcon. It's funny, they spelled Falcon correctly there, but they kind of blew it when it comes to the uh, blade. I got F-A-L-C-O-M like Mary. Did I mention that it is a Sandvik? No, it's not a Sandvik steel. I'm thinking of the other one. This is a Bowler K110, which is kind of uh, another name for D2. However, it's a premium D2. And we've got a nice edge on this guy. Let's see if I can demo that. All right, drum roll, please. Yeah. Wow, really sharp and smooth. And uh, haven't touched it. That's right out of the box. And again, the action is nice and snappy and fall shut. Nice and snappy and a light blade, but it just... The bearings on this are amazing. Again, for 50 bucks. And I know you can get other knives out there for 50 bucks. You can get a Civivi for 40 or maybe less. Um, this action is just particularly good, just as it is. Uh, definitely on bearings. Okay? So the Harns Knife Company, it is the Falcon. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be back with one more new Harns knife. Surprise, surprise. And a new Tucson coming up in the days ahead. Be well.